Zell Boy Army, what is going on? It's your boy Salonis, my beautiful, spicy friend back here, Mr. Ainsley Harrett. We're here today with another banger video for you. We're looking at how you can improve at FIFA. I'm going to talk to you about the coaching that I do, how you can improve with coaching. You want to stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to have my rewards from last weekend. We've got Elite One. I'm going to have those in the video, so make sure you stick around to the end to watch them. But yeah, this video is dedicated, like most of the channel, to helping you improve at the game. I'm going to give you some tips, advice on how you can maybe self-analyze your game, improve at the game yourself. And then I'm going to talk about the coaching that I offer and show you some reviews from customers I've had so you can maybe think about yourself. I appreciate all the support lately on the channel. We've grown rapidly. Your guys' support is incredible. I appreciate it so much. Thank you so much for all the likes, comments, the feedback on the iRate Teams video yesterday was great. Anyway, let's get into the video. It's going to be a banger. Enjoy. Okay, boys. We're talking about improving at FIFA. How coaching can help you. What you can do to help yourself. First, we will start off. You're in the right place. We're looking at YouTube channels like mine. Two of my friends who I'd highly recommend checking out their YouTube channels if you don't already. Jambu, he is a pro player for West Ham. My best friend in the FIFA scene. He's putting out lots of educational videos to help you guys improve at FIFA, so check him out. And then the guy who kind of inspired me to get back on the YouTube grind, FIFA Analyst. His YouTube channel is fantastic. He puts a lot of effort into his videos. He's a full-time YouTuber and streamer at the moment. Make sure you check him out. He puts lots of great educational content out there helping you guys improve at the game as well. I also run a Patreon with these two. It's the start of the month effectively, so it's the best time to sign up for the Patreon. So many people are improving from this Patreon, getting lots of positive feedback. It's a great community we're building. I'd highly recommend it. There's a link in the description below that's safe to check out. But improving at FIFA, how can you go about this? Watching content like this, my channel is dedicated to giving you the best advice on tactics, player advice, looking at the best value players so you can build a great team. I'm doing video now once a week where I rate your team, so make sure you follow my Twitter so you can reply to a tweet to get involved in that video. Um, yeah, I'm giving you the best tactics you can use. I talk about gameplay tutorials. This video is dedicated to shooting, attacking, defending, all sorts of things. And I'm also looking to give you guys more content that you ask for, so please, let me know in the comments, is there any type of particular videos you want to see? I'm always looking for the content that you guys want and deserve. So, watching YouTube videos, the channels I've talked about, those will already help you improve. If you're following them, make sure you apply what you learn in these videos. A great way to improve, and it's simple but effective, is practice in Rivals. That is a way you can improve pretty quick, because Rivals is literally a mode dedicated to matching you against people at your skill level. Okay, with icon swaps, you might sometimes get people who drop down levels and they might not be at your level. But on average, Rivals has helped a lot of people improve because it generally gives you a match close to your level, which is fantastic. It is a hard mode to play a lot of, I guess, because it's very sweaty. Um, it's a grind at times. But if you really want to improve, Rivals is a fantastic way of doing this. Finding a practice partner is also a very good way of improving. Someone around your level or slightly better who can point things out and help you improve. I've had that as a pro, there's no reason it can't work for a gold one player, a silver three player, someone who doesn't even play weekend league. Self-analyzing. I probably will start to put up a few more gameplay analysis videos I've done for people, because I think those are stuff you guys can glean a lot of information from, you can learn a lot. Self-analyzing your own gameplay can be really effective because it lets you maybe spot some mistakes and maybe bad habits that you realize or you didn't realize sorry that you had until you watch this in, a, in in the video it's easy on xbox or playstation definitely on pc to record the gameplay if you don't know how to do it there's very simple guides just type in how to record gameplay footage on xbox how to record gameplay footage on playstation very simple very effective very easy to get this done but watching your gameplay back as boring as it may sound you will very quickly be able to pick up some habits you do. As a coach, which I will talk about a bit later in the video, I do offer gameplay analysis and I'll show you some reviews of people who've had it and show you what they've said about it. An even easier way, just watch the goals back that you concede and score. On the goals you score, is there a consistent pattern? Should you be looking to do this more? 
on the goals you concede? Do you keep making the same mistake? Are people shooting at a certain angle that you don't use but goes inconsistently? Looking at things like that is a very easy way to improve. Team. I offer so many videos now that I look at teams, I look at the best players, I look at the latest promos and tell you about the meta players who fit the game. I'm not doing this for fun, I'm doing it because I want to offer you guys the best advice so you can build the best teams you can. Sadly, FIFA can be quite paid to win, but there is very good players you can get for cheap, like I talk about a player like Shapeshifter et al, Future Stars Tillemans, Tostegan, Ferland Mendy. In my videos about the cheap top meta players, I talk about players that you can add to your team who don't cost a lot, who will instantly improve performance. Looking at things that work on the game like pace, good aggression on your defenders, high rate keepers, five star weak for an attack. Just applying some of these things to your team will make a huge difference and can very quickly turn a team that maybe isn't that expensive into a very competitive team. Or obviously, if I have a 20 million coin team full of Hullet and R9, you cannot compete fairly with a 1 million coin team. But I can help you build a 1 million coin team if you follow my advice and the players I talk about that will be able to compete a lot better than maybe some other teams you might have been building. Ultimately, it depends are you watching these videos to get to be as competitive as possible and get as many wins as possible or just playing for fun. If you're just playing for fun, then I, I do some videos where I talk about these type of players like the Delta Rat by the way for anyone who hasn't seen him he looks a really fun card for his price he was like 20 to 30 grand it cost me 5 grand with everything I had in the club 5 star 4 star he's got 98 strength 93 aggression 96 shot power 95 dribbling this card seems unreal I could not believe how good this card was um, I would highly recommend if you want a fun card doing him by the way he's just so cheap and he'll be fun in the game to use I think there is cards you can use that might be more fun but they're not always going to be as mad mostly my videos when I talk about players and the latest promos I'm going to talk about the best players that are going to get you the most wins because I feel that's what most of you guys are watching these videos for but your team are very important make sure you get involved on the I rate your team videos because I'll be able to give you some helpful pro and coach insight there there's quite a few things that you can do to very quickly improve at the game. When it comes to weekend league, spreading your games out. Um, this one sounds silly, but literally just staying hydrated, making sure you've got a drink of water. If you take a loss, make sure you have a break after it. Things like that are a very easy way of just starting to build more consistency. And becoming more consistent on FIFA is a very important way of improving. Consistency is key. Mental side of FIFA is key. When it comes to weekend league, it is not a sprint. You could be, play for like a top 100 player for one game, but you could still hit gold for it. Obviously, if you can do that for a game, it's trying to turn into being consistently like that. But for um, weekend league, it's 30 games. It's about being consistent, and my channel is dedicated to trying to help you guys improve at the game and become more consistent. Now I talk about the coaching that I offer. I have been a coach in FIFA for the last three FIFAs, Effectively done it for about two and a half years. I've probably coached over two and a half, two and a half. I was saying two and a half years. I've probably coached over two hundred clients. It's probably coming up to two hundred and fifty now. And I would say over that that time, ninety to ninety-five percent would have very very positive feedback about how much they've improved. I'll show you some reviews from clients that I've had in the last few weeks about the coaching that they've had. They're very positive about the impact it's had and how it's made them improve. I'll show you the reviews now, so you can see not my words, but what other people have said. This is from um, someone who was a gold one player when he started coaching with me, and he has a team worth like 15 to 20 million coins. He's got an insane team, but he said he just wasn't enjoying the game because he was really struggling to use the team to the full extent. He now consistently hits elite two, and he was only a penalty loss away from hitting um, Elite 1 a week ago. I'll read the message out here. I started playing FIFA last year in 2019. I'm a very competitive person that always watches professional actors and watch professional players and tutorials watching streams they do. Every time I try to learn from them what they do and don't, I spent a lot of money on the game and at least 2k dollars, but I still never managed to get Elite. All the time I hit Gold 1 and was never able to get Elite week after week. 
When I started FIFA 20, I thought if I spend more money on packs and build a better team, I will be more successful. <coughs> and then I put 3k dollars on and built the best team possible and still could not hit more than gold one. And then I saw a video of Zelonius that offered personal coaching. At the time, I sent him a message on Twitter and arranged the first training. The training was super professional and very personal for me. Um, he, he spelled out exactly the strengths and weaknesses. The person who wrote this, by the way, great guy, really improved a lot. His English isn't his first language, so he's done a very good job writing this paragraph out, to be fair. But the, obviously, if it doesn't read perfect, that's why. So he explained the strengths and weaknesses of, of my personal game. It was to my great surprise, a week after the training, I hit Elite 2 with one loss on penalties. I was shocked at how quickly you can improve if you have a coach suited who knows how to give tips for you. So that's one of the things that I really like to offer with my coaching. You can improve drastically by watching me play, by watching the videos and putting them into practice, listening to what I say, but it's not tailor-made specific for you. So it's going to be hard to improve quite as quick. Not everyone has the time either to sit and watch every stream I do or watch every video I do. It's one of the things that the coach is really good for. You get to play against me. You get to play against someone at a higher level than you who can pinpoint out the weaknesses in your game. And that's one of the best elements of the coaching, I'd say. Because from that moment, every week, practicing with Zelone, it's at least once per week, more than that, Zell introduced me to people at my level to practice with. It's one of the things I recommend with a patron, by the way, that you can find people at your level and get good gameplay partners with. Um, he said, I've, he's helped me improve even more. He answers every question I've asked him if it's about building a new team or new players. And sometimes I uh, unload in front of the nerves over the last week. I think there he's saying to me that during weekend league, he was messaging me saying he was feeling nervous and I would give him good insight. One of the things I like to say with my coach and, and anyone who watches my streams would say is that I'm very interactive, but with the coaching, you get an hour of my personal time where I'll give you lots of feedback. It's tailored to you. You can ask any questions you have, but after the session, that's not the end. You can still message me. You can still ask me lots of questions. You don't just have me for an hour and then never hear from me again. It's tailor-made to you, and I'll be there to support you afterwards. Um, there's all the money I spent on buying packs on FIFA. It was more um, truth than my real experience playing the game. He said after one um, workout, I think my session with Zell, made me understand the game at a much higher level and understanding of it today. When I lose a game or gain a goal, I know what I did wrong and how to fix it for the next time. It's crazy how much personal coaching is important in FIFA. So that's a tie, who said that. The next one, um, read this. This is from someone who doesn't um, play weekend league at the moment. I think he started in Div 10. So I do my coaching is tailored to all sorts of levels from elite one players to people who don't even play weekend league. So don't think that it's only for a certain level of player. His message says, to any who might be interested, I highly recommend the coaching session offered by Zalonis. Whether you are new to the game or attempted to improve from gold to elite and foot champs, it doesn't matter. Allowing Zalonis to dissect your gameplay will definitely yield benefits. I have personally experienced rapid improvement two division rivals levels in as many weeks since the coaching session. The price for a tutorial is affordable and in my humble estimation pays for itself ten times over. I found that his analysis cut straight to the part, parts of my gameplay that were hindering me from reaching my objectives. I was able to dramatically and instantly improve my gameplay after just one session. I also really like the software he uses to dissect the gameplay. He's able to pinpoint certain moments in your game where the errors are occurring. He's very thorough, yet keeps it simple. If I had to rate it, I'd give it a 10 out of 10. So for anyone wondering, the cost of coaching is £30 an hour. I offer £80 for free sessions, so you get a £10 discount if you want to book multiple sessions. If you're interested in booking the coach, by the way, DM me on Twitter, link in the description below. My Twitter is just at Zalonius or message me at Zalonius FIFA on Instagram. I'm contactable on either of those. I've uh, got two more reviews. I think it's important for you guys to not just hear what I have to say about the coach, but see what other people are saying. Um, my name is Mateo. Mateo is a very good player. He's a gold one player who I think he was in gold two more so before the coaching sessions. He gives me really good games. And I genuinely think Mateo could be an elite one player if he can start to get a little bit more consistent. So my name is Mateo. I'm from Italy. I really wanted to improve the way I play FIFA 
and somehow I landed on Zell's YouTube channel. The video that he uploads are really what I was looking for because they talk about the right mentality, tactics and strategy to avoid stupid things that make you lose games that you should have won. Those reasons made me contact him on Instagram to book a private coaching session with him. I'd never had one in my life before. The session lasts an hour and during that period you have one of the best FIFA players in the world at your complete disposal. You can ask any questions about your common errors, you can play against him. I discovered that it was so important to improve in FIFA by playing against people better than you. He even records your last game to do a complete gameplay analysis that he will send to you a couple of days later. So one of the things that I offer in my coaching is you can either play free games against me where you get live feedback, we'll call on Discord so you can talk to me, ask me questions and I'll give you feedback as we play. Or we can play two games and the second one I will record as a personal private YouTube video that you can go watch back and see the analysis of the game. Um, after applying four sessions, I strongly recommend private sessions with Zell for those players that really want to become better FIFA players. And the last one, this is from a player who, before he had done coaching with me, the best he had had this year was Elite 3. You can see, you'll see from this message what he's achieved since. After one coaching session with Zalonis, I've gained the confidence that I can and am a better player. I was an Elite 3 player two weeks after the first session. I have hit 28 and 29 wins. So that is honestly a huge jump from 23 to 28 and 29 wins. So personally, I believe that Zell is one of the best coaches in FIFA. So lads, if you want to improve, contact him and you'll become 100% a better player. This guy, I'm not going to say his name or the person that he beat, but he beat in Weekend League recently a person who's finished top four at a major champs cup this year, so a pro player. So that you can see from those guys' messages kind of what the coaching offers, what they think of it, but how highly they recommend it. I think customer reviews speak louder than anything I can say. So you can see there, lots of really happy customers. Boys, I think that's explained the coaching really well. I've talked lots about how you can prove at the game. Hopefully you enjoy the rewards I'm about to show you. I appreciate the support so much on the channel. You guys mean so much to me. Thank you for all the support from the Zellboy Army. Enjoy the rewards. Hey, Zellboy Army, here we are. We are opening our rewards. Let's see what we get. Elite one foot champs. The team of the week is awful to be honest this week. It's more jumbo packs that I'm looking at. Let's have a look. Milinkovic Savage. Decent start an 87. He's a little bit clunky. He's probably not that usable unfortunately. But it's about as good a card as we're going to get this week. So that's a good pull from these reds. It's one of the best we could have had. And Diddy and Party are pretty good. Go for the 84. Paulson, if he had a few cards, it'd be a beast. Still don't have the weak foot, really, but he's got some good stats about him. But yeah. The Reds, not that excited about this week, boys. Did we get. Oh, did we get ranked 2 or not? No, we didn't get ranked 2 for the ultimate pack, that's a shame. Okay, we'll open these, we'll go through them quick. I'm not expecting a lot. Um, the Jumbo Rare Players Pack, maybe we'll get a good foot birthday card in there. These are untradeable, these Rare Player Packs. Is it a board? Sweden. Is this an inform? Oh, it's Latin. Not bad. Decent for an SBC. 85 red, not bad for an untradeable pack. Do we have tradable biscuit? Yeah, we'll sell him then. Not the worst pack in 84 and 85 from one of these. You should get better, really, but you tend to not. I think it's a walkout. No, Spanish walkouts tend to not be the best. David Silver, we will take that. He's going to go a long way to an SBC, to be honest. These get any card this high rate from a rare player's pack, you've got to take. The rewards have been a lot better than I'm used to, to be honest, which is crying shame. But, oh no, do we have two untradeable dark symbols? No. Okay, we're going to have to discard an 88. That is a rip in the chat, boys. I'm disgusted to do that. I'm opening the team of the week because the team of the week, they're poor every week, so we'll just see what we get. It's a walkout, so it's got to be at least an 84. 
but this is an 84. Hmm, let's see. Okay, we'll just put them on the transfer, see what we get from them. These cards aren't anything special. So walkouts has got to be at least an 84. I swear, I only ever get keepers from... My keepers are always my board cards on these. Dreadful. Could have been a lot worse, to be honest, but... That third is probably not actually that bad a card for his left level. Mega packs. Uh, not even a board. These are just useful for squad fitness generally. Keep the boys ticking. Yeah, quick sell. Not the best reward so far, boys and girls. If it's not a walk out, there's probably not much point in looking, to be honest. Uh, okay, Jumbo Rare Players Pack. Let's see what we get. I think it's a walk out? No, it's not. I feel like it's a £16 pack. It has to be a walk out, in my opinion. Like an 83. That's disgusting. How can a pack that costs £16 only give you an 83? I'm used to it, boys. I'm used to it. But a pack look this year has been horrendous. Disgusting. Awful rewards as per. Maybe one down the channel will get some of it, boys. At least we got an inform. Good scout all of them. That was dreadful. He can sell, actually. Sorry, boys. I want to give you some rewards we can get excited for and shout about, but alas, this week wasn't it. Appreciate you watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll be back tomorrow. I'll be analysing all the new foot birthday cards, looking at the ones that I probably can fit in your team, review of them all. Appreciate the support. Have a good evening.